Arc Lodge Cinemas is closed on Christmas Day for the first time since the theater opened. The last two weeks of the year are critical for most independent theaters, but that's especially true this year. This theater on any other Christmas Day would be packed. Usually it's the busiest day of the year. Um, other than the day after Black Friday. Today, seats are empty at all indoor movie theaters across the state. I teach middle school. The pandemic completely rocking the entertainment industry. Um, the Arc Lodge in particular has lost over 90% of their revenue um, due to the closure. Justin Pritchett is the co-owner of Arc Lodge Cinemas. He's been in the business for 15 years. He's worked every single Christmas except this one. It's very unfortunate that, you know, we're in, we're in this time period right now where we have to um, make sure that we're being safe, being socially distanced and um, not at the theaters. Many theaters have closed once again due to rising COVID cases, causing movie studios to either hold off on the big Christmas Day blockbuster releases or opt for streaming services, like today's release of Wonder Woman 1984 and the new Pixar film, Soul. Pritchett says despite the industry's pivot to stay alive, he's confident people will want to sit down in a theater again. And knowing that there is a vaccine coming up, um, you know, next holidays, it could very well be really busy at the theater um, just due to the fact that people want to get out. You know, they've been sitting in front of their TVs for the last year. Pritchett says he's looking to the current federal COVID relief package as a lifeline to keep the theater afloat until doors can officially open up again. If President Trump signs the bill, $15 billion will go to struggling theaters like this one. In Seattle, Britt Moore, King 5 News.